Good morning. Happy Friday to everyone. Hope your week has gone according to plan. If not, just rejiggered your plan and start over next week. Uh, keep up your activities and Mornings with Michael is brought to you for informational and educational purposes only. Uh, the market's starting to look a little tired. Uh, let's take a look at the news first. World News, Goldman strategists warned surging equities face lingering risk. They remain neutral on stocks, upgrade bonds, and cut commodities. Say slowing global growth could hit earnings revisions in the second half, Bloomberg reports. Now on to our sector news. In the consumer, Leslie Pools, LESL, shares fall as it guides third quarter sales at 600 11 million versus estimate of 703 million, and comps are a negative 12%. Let's see, uh, Funko, FNCO, said Brian Mariotti will take a leave of absence and cease serving as Funko's CEO with full support from the company's board of directors. Boyd Gaming, BYD, upgraded to equal weight from underweighted Morgan Stanley. Onto energy industrials and materials. BHB Group, BHP, upgraded to overweight from neutral at JP Morgan. Intuitive Machines, L U N R, said it successfully completed a spacecraft test run of its Nova C lunar landing at Houston Spaceport. So, in financials, uh, JP Morgan, JPM, quarter two, adjusted EPS 437 versus estimate of 399. All these financials were up strong before, and now they're fading after what we call amateur hour, the first hour of trading. BlackRock, BLK, quarter two, adjusted EPS $9.28 versus estimate $8.46. Unity Bank Corp, UNTY, fourth quarter EPS, $0.95 cents versus estimate $0.87. Cents. And uh, let's see. A big day for crypto on Thursday as Bitcoin jumped 3.4% to its highest since June of 2022 uh, at $31,778, boosted after a U.S. judge ruled Ripple did not violate federal securities law by selling its XRP token, XRP, on public exchanges. The momentum poured out into Bitcoin leveraged stocks, including Coin, C-O-I-N, which rose over 20%, as well as BITF, Bit Farms and crypto miners Riot, Mara, and Hut. Uh, healthcare, United Healthcare, UNH, quarter two adjusted EPS, $6.14 versus $6.01. Revenue in the second quarter rose 15.6% year over year to $92.9 billion versus estimate of $91 billion. Acadia Pharmaceuticals, ACAD, acquires ex-North American rights to Trophantide and global rights to Neurons, Neuron S, N, and Z2591 and Rett Syndrome and Fragile X Syndrome. Apopagee Therapeutics, APGE, 17.65 Million share IPO price at 17. Caribou Biosciences, CRBU, files to sell 100 million in common stock. Roy Avant Sciences, ROIV, in close, is close to agreeing on a sale of experimental drug ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease to Roche, RH. HBY as a ticker symbol, 
for over $7 billion, according to the Wall Street Journal. Theseus Pharmaceuticals, THRX, shares plunge overnight after discounting enrollment in the ongoing phase one phase half study in terminating development of THE630 in patients with gastrointestinal stromal tumors, or GIST. And finally, on to technology, media, and telecom, Microsoft, Mr. Softy, MSFT, upgraded to buy from neutral, saying the cloud infrastructure spending is starting to stabilize and significant deceleration over the past year. Ericsson, E-R-I-C, shares slid after quarter three guidance missed expectations. Ericsson said it expected quarter three EBITDA earnings margin to be in line with slightly higher than quarter two, followed by a seasonally stronger quarter number four. Nokia, N-O-K, had its annual outlook saying it now expects sales in the year 23.2 billion euros, um, 26.02 billion against 24, that was dollars, 24 point, 26.02 billion dollars to the 23.2 billion euros against 24.6 billion seen earlier, saying high inflation affects customer spending plans, who sees net quarter two sales at 5.7 billion euros versus consensus. And finally, air test systems, AEHR, fourth quarter EPS, 23 cents versus estimate of 22 cents on revenues of 22.269 million versus the estimate of 22.01 million. Guides full year 24 revs to at least 100 million versus estimate 102.58 million. And that's our news for today. Let's take a look at our S&P 500 heat map. Microsoft, uh, Mr. Softy is up on the news. Apple is down slightly. Uh, NVIDIA is up slightly. Google is up. Meta is down. Amazon and Tesla are up. Uh, consumer defense discount stores are up. Healthcare is up after being down earlier. And we've got a lot of sea of red, sea of red in oil. Some in basic materials, industrials, financial uh, credit services, and banks diversified. Um, they were up big earlier, and then they have fallen. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at them now. First, I'm going to take a look at NVIDIA. This looks like a bearish shooting star. Uh, all of them don't have a shooting star, but they have failed um, on positive news. This is Wells Fargo. Uh, this looks like a bearish engulfing pattern where it engulfs the previous day's um, positive ticker. Can take a look at JP Morgan as well. It's trying to stay in, in the groove. We'll just have to uh, keep watching this one. Oh, I don't think anybody could could see that screen. 
me go back and share. This is JP Morgan trying to fight the good fight to come back. Let's go back and look at NVIDIA. So it looks like shooting star. It's come up here. Maybe we had a climax top. We'll just have to uh, see the watch the one or two more days. Stop the share here. And now we'll go look at our screens. I was looking at uh, Netflix earlier. This really kind of looks like a shooting star as well. Let's look at our dollar. Dollar is actually bouncing a little. And we know that gold is reverse correlated to the dollar it was up slightly yesterday and it is down today it is gapped up on the dollar coming back down we'll have to continue to watch that silver continues its run up has two gap ups and it's continue up strong my favorite uh, copper is pulling back slightly. Canadian Copper Company. Yeah, we've got some pretty strong volume here. That's something to be aware of. Take a look at our bond yields. They've sold off one, two, three, four days in a row, and we got a little bounce today. That may be why the equities are pulling back. The 20 year, same thing as bouncing off the 50 day moving average. Fear index is pretty flat. Looks like uh, Bitcoin was trying to break out yesterday, and we got a pretty strong pullback here today. Ethereum tried to move higher, had a huge move yesterday, and then it sold off, much like the other financials. Take a look at our small cap index. Pulling back after a move one, two, three, four, five, six days in a row. Volume was pretty light on that pullback so far. Dow Jones is actually up today. And who knows, it might be the strongest index. S&P 500. Just flat, which is good. And the NASDAQ uh, tried to move higher and is now pulling back. And let's uh, take a look at what what is moving positively. We got a pullback in commercial services. This is where Google, Facebook are located. Got a big pullback in energy. It's like a falling knife. Got some pretty huge volume yesterday, and it looks like it's going to be another strong day today.
our semiconductors are pretty flat. Tried to move higher and sold off. It's possibly could be a shooting star. A bearish shooting star, which we looked at on Thinkorswim. Jets is pulling back. Um, it's gone through its 10-day moving average, now heading towards its 20-day moving average. Unlike the Dow Jones, so uh, this industrial sector is pulling back. Technologies are positive, but just barely, so it's pretty flat. Once again, possibility this could be a shooting star as the markets get tired to run out of steam. Software tried to move higher. It's pulling back just like about everything else. Materials, building materials pulling back. Mining and metals pulling back. Only thing that really looks positive so far that we looked at is the home builders. So what is moving today? Bicycle Therapeutics was in the news. Tried to move higher and is pulled back. This is where the big money is flowing. I'm going to pull up my handy duty chart. This was in the news air test systems, beat earnings, gapping up was up about 19% earlier. Right now it's up 18%. We got huge volume. Earnings per share uh, is up. 64% earning earning surprise, even though it was just up 0%. Uh, they were expecting a loss, so that's a huge move there. We look at JP Morgan earlier. Tried to move higher, it's pulling back in. Modine Manufacturing, look at all this volume. It's a lot of professional buying, continues to move up today. It's pretty positive when most things uh, are fading. Trade Desk, also moving higher. We got one, two, three, four days in a row of higher volume, one, two, three, four days up. In the oil and gas field, we saw it was pulling back, but uh, Tidewater keeps moving forward. Take a look at uh, the other previous. Uh, Noble is pulling back. But look at this move. One, two, actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days up in a row. Intuitive surgical. It broke out over here and it just continues. It's strength. Earnings are in six days. This is a worry point. We'll just have to analyze that. 
finally proficient, up uh, nearly 1% today, provides information technology consulting services, and the volume has been pretty strong, but just not as strong as earlier volume. Uh, it is hitting new highs versus the S&P 500, so that's positive. And now let's see where the money is moving out of. Interesting, this Norwegian stock. Look at that sale. It's just going up, up, and up, and boom, down 28%. Denbury in the oil field down four and a quarter percent. Vista Energy continues to sell off down 10 percent today. Also in the news, Leslie Poole. Leslie was down, and its competitor pool is down 4.66%, gap down to its 50-day moving average, and is getting some buying power coming back. So this is a positive. Now let's look at Leslie. Down 32%. And basically can't even see it. And look at the sales volume. IPG Phototronics sold off to its 10-day moving average, but uh, that's like minimal pullback. So that's um, where we're looking there. And now, promise one of our Swiss um, MBA students that we take a look. This is Roger Federer stock, uh, invested heavily into it. Analysts expect about 80% earnings growth in 2023, right over here. And in 2024, another 23%. I just have to announce that I have a position in this stock. Uh, I'm going to keep watching it. It tried to break out yesterday and then sold off, fell into the middle to the lower range. And today it's selling off with the rest of the market. Uh, everyone I talk to loves the comfort of the shoes. They're great for walking standing on all day um, so we'll just see i know there's uh hoka shoes new balance has the shoes out there but uh, we'll just see they seem to be selling like hotcakes we'll continue to watch this this is a nice cup with handle sold off here and we got some huge buying yesterday We'll just see if it can continue. Um, so that's our news report. This has been Mornings with Michael for information and education only. Thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody has a great uh, weekend. We have a great show coming up on Saturday on Saturday Small Business Leaders. Make sure you tune in for that. It was a nice surprise. Somebody I had talked to and known for over 20 years, still still learning more information about his business and how, how he's growing it and what he's going to do to pay back uh, all those people that helped him. So everybody have a great day and we'll catch you later.